Hello YouTube family and welcome back to the channel. Today's video I'm going to be just sharing some real time interaction with one of my reticulated pythons. What I'm going to try to do is show different interactions with different reticulated pythons on the channel to just kind of get you and people who are unfamiliar with these animals a more variant perspective of how I handle them, the different personalities, because I think that's very important to understand the different approaches to different ones based on their personalities. And right now is a really good time um, because I have to clean out, I'm coming down here and I have to clean out one of the reticulated pythons um, who shed it. Um, and he's one of my favorites. So we'll start this um, series or session with Hefe. Um, and Hefe is my Motley Mochino. Um, he is a animal that I purchased from Jim Jolly, who I will also try to talk a little bit about the breeders that got me to this point. And Jim is by far where most of my reticulated pythons come from. Um, a huge support to me um, through the breeding process of these very animals that he also breeds. So he doesn't, you know, feel no type of way of helping others. So I appreciate that with Jim. And um, all of my favorite and personality definitely come from Jim. And as a breeder of reticulated pythons, one of the things that I say all the time, um, where you get your animal from is going to definitely make a huge difference as to how your experience may start out. Although I believe that you can get most of these animals to where they are with me today. Um, where you get them from as babies is going to dictate um, how that start with you is. So all of my animals were very much handled from Jim Jolly when I got them. I can't say that I got any that were overly defensive. Um, I had some that were like the Motley Golden Child Sunfire, which was my very first. Um, she was definitely way more on point, <laughs> but she wasn't um, defensive at all. None of them, none of them really were. Um, there are some personality quirks with each reticulated python, and some of mine have those quirks. I just know how to maneuver those personalities and manipulate those personalities to work with me and my personality per se. And so therefore, although it looks a lot of times that I'm never having an issue with my animals, it's because a lot of times it's just, I just know what to do with that particular animal with someone else who are not, who's not familiar with my animals or who are uneducated or reticulated pythons as a whole may definitely find themselves in a not so cool situation. So the reason why myself and others like myself like to do these type of educational videos is to make these animals as loved as any other reptile in the reptile hobby, but also show you a different side that is different from what we see a lot on social media due to the sensationalizing of owning a big reptile or a big snake in this case. All right, stay tuned. purposes this is a snake hook this is one 
that you may want to use for a large reticulated python not to attempt to lift them you should never be hooking <laughs> hooking your reticulated python um, for those who do tap train, which I encourage anyone who are not familiar with these animals and you are handling them for the first time as a new keeper, you want to create a practice of tap training until you absolutely understand your animal. It's best for you and it's best for your animal because we want these animals to have good experiences at a younger age so they have no resistance against human interaction. So you should use this. Now, Personality driven, because of the animal I'm about to approach, I don't need this. And one thing, guys, with me, once I get my animal to a certain space, I keep them in that space. I don't take them back and forth. So the moment I realize that I can manage them without a hook, for me, um, they never see a hook again unless there's some extenuating circumstances and I've never experienced. Even right now, the one we can ready to handle, he is a male who wants to breed again. He is the dad of my earlier clutch. Both the mom and dad are cycling again. Um, the mom is, I mean, the mom is cycling again. The dad is cycling again. He's ready. Um, but because I, as much as I love these animals, I can only breed one clutch. And for me, I think it's going to be one clutch every other year. Um... My ball pythons are the ones that I breed, breed more. Um, it's hard to watch them suffer through wanting to mate, but I have to. It's for the best interest of them and our community. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to approach Hefe. Okay, so I just turned the lights on down here. Um, like I said, he has made a mess. Sure, you guys can see us down here. Yes, okay. All right, and if you notice, all three of them <laughs> are active, the whole other room is inactive. But half a shed it, half is coming out. He already knows I'm here, so no reason, no reason to use a hook. And guys, not only do he know I'm here, if you notice, half a wanted to come out. I let my reticulated pythons make that decision for themselves. You know, um, I find it much easier, um, unless I have to force them out for something. Like say if Hefe wasn't already coming out to me, then it might be a good idea for me to um, actually, you know, force them out, but very seldom do I have to do that with any of my animals. All right, and you see he's a big boy, but, because he'll come out of his own, and he's y'all, he's archery and everything. He's like I said, he is a male who wants to breed, but you can see he's still very manageable. Um, now, another thing is, I know which one of these animals, too, that I definitely need to let somebody know I'm handling. Um, so let's say if Hefe wasn't so manageable, my baby, so I can't you all the way out. If he wasn't this manageable, um, I would definitely let my husband or my son know that I got him out, but he's very manageable for me, so bring this camera back up. There we go. So let's talk about his personality. Sweetie Petey always have been since the first time I got him. No concerns with behaviors with this animal at all. As you can see, he was very helpful to me and still being helpful to me with getting him out of his enclosure. And I'm gonna let him kinda hang around on the ground today while I clean out his enclosure. Sometimes I might let them soak or shower um, while I let them kind of get cleaned up in the enclosure. But since he's definitely going to be active, I am going to allow him to do that. now. One of the things, when I say difference in personality, the next animal I'll do is T'Challa, which is the female above him. And you'll see me have a slight hesitation with her before I actually go in. Not with a hook though. I'll do the same thing. I'll let her determine whether or not she wants to come out. If she doesn't hit to the door, then I will touch her. If I touch her and she doesn't bump, then I proceed like I did with that thing. Um, that's my process with her. 
anybody who handles her, except for my son Michael, because she always wants to come out to Michael. And guys, these animals have a very specific preference, people to people, of who they want, who they like. I am one of his favorites. I am definitely one of his favorites, but T'Challa, my son, is the favorite. So, um, handle them as babies. So, for those of you who have purchased from me, you notice that you get a very handleable baby because I handle them every single day. I let them do things that they would need to do as an adult and make it seem normal for them. And I teach them things like how this snake is not trying to wrap around my neck. It's something I've conditioned him to. I let my larger retakes like this, shoulders. You're not gonna see him on my neck. If this animal tried to come up my back, I still put him on the shoulder. So if he came on my back and tried to cross my neck around the back, I won't allow him as much as I love this animal, as chill as he is. If he anchors on my neck, it's not a cool thing. Um, just, I mean, he's heavy. He's a heavy dude. Far, 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 far more heavier than the baby you'll get. So that's something else. As people are uh, purchasing babies, uh, whether that's from me or anybody else, it gives you an idea of that little animal you're holding and you can handle with no problem. Will have you sweat and it becomes a little bit more challenging, but it's very manageable still. He's trying to get to his girlfriend. Not gonna have it. But there you have it, guys. Just a short video showing you my approach and document different personalities on that approach and how I handle the larger ones. And you're gonna see different sizes. You're gonna see personalities at different sizes because that makes a difference too at different ages. But pretty much you're gonna see that I don't have one that's gonna strike. That's just not what my animals do. And that starts from how you handle this baby. So, say hi. Say hi, Hef. Say hi. All right, I'm gonna get them cleaned up. Thank you guys for tuning in. And stay tuned for the next reticulated python that I will actually highlight for you guys on personality. Peace. Ready, bud? <laughs>